you have a baby with a married couple? Yeah. How, what is that about? Yeah, two kids. Okay. Like, is the couple two girls? Yeah, they married. So, basically, uh, the one who had my child, uh, I think. Uh, I hit up on I hit her up on Fista. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got we, a Fista. I, yeah, we were cool. We you know chilling, talking and stuff. And then we were like, hey, let's link up. You know, linked up. You know, we enjoyed each other's en- energies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poop, a oh, baby. Okay, and then and she then, and then she got married. No, nah, she was already married. Uh, but wait. with permission, we made a baby together. But uh, did she have permission to make a baby with you while she was married? We all made it together. <laughs> to the baller show podcast available everywhere you get your podcast please continue to like subscribe and share our youtube page at baller alert tv i go by the name of ferrari simmons i go by the name you know bt oct what up fredo bags in the building hey! Yeah, Baton Rouge is in Baton the building. Rouge. How's it going, sir? I'm good. Why you say it like that? Baton Rouge. Man, I'm, French. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm trying to I thought it was just Baton Rouge. It's really French. It's, it's really Baton Rouge. Oh. So take us back to Baton Rouge. How was it for you growing up? Like when did music play a part? Uh, did it I mean, come I, later or was it real? I love music my whole life. I just accidentally uh got put into a studio. Why? Uh my partners used to rap in the closet. Okay. And so, man, one day he just told me, man, go put a verse on this. And I like, yeah. and you were just playing around and did a verse. And then, How like, old were you then? Uh, 14. So you was in high school, what? Like high school? Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's ninth grade. Yeah, ninth grade. What, um, what was you doing before the studio? Like, <laughs> nothing for you were just no. in the street? I was saying, you, you ain't never had a job? You, you, who? Huh? you ain't never had a job? I had a job while I was rapping. What was you doing? Uh, my first job was uh, a buggy boy at Win Dixie. I was going to say Publix and, or something? Yeah, yeah. them goddamn and then after that, shopping carts. And then after that, I was in the plant. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Both. Yeah, everybody be in the plant that way. That's the only way you really get some money. The what? The plant. plant. What's that? Like Power plant. Power plant? Oh, okay, okay. Chemical like plant. Gotcha. Chemical plant. What was your job there? Uh, Packaging herbicide. Oh, wow. Damn. Mm-hmm. Like, you had to wear, like, uh, whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I know you ain't like that shit. Shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was like jail. When you knew when to quit? I went to jail. Oh, you went to jail? Why yeah. did you go to jail, sir? Uh, attempted murder. God yeah, damn. Yeah. yeah. You had the <laughs> plant? I was, but I didn't know I was had a warrant out, so when, when they found that out, they said I was a risk to security environment. Mm-hmm. Also, that they had to let you go? Mm-hmm. Uh, I now, found it out, and then I went back to jail in like two weeks, and I did two and a half years. Oh, you did two and a half years? What was the reason for the attempted murder? Oh, uh, uh, so it had a rapper... In Baton Rouge, I was into it with, uh, cause he got into it with my brother, my cousin, or whatever. So we ended up having a fight, and while we had the fight, his daddy snuck me, and it just went from there. Okay. So it was, it was initially self defense. Yeah, got you. Facts. So you did your two and a half years, right? And um, when you came out, what happened? I had uh, well, I was home for two weeks. I ain't let nobody know. I recorded some songs. I did like two videos, and then when I let everybody know, I dropped the video the same day. Okay, that's how you let them know that you taking rap serious, because this was something that you were still playing around with, correct? Yeah. Uh, question: Did did the uh, did the situation with the self defense? Do you think that uh, helped your career once you got out? Yeah, because once it happened, I had hit XXL magazine and all type of stuff, and labels was reaching out. I was in jail, so yeah. Why do you why do you think that helps artists? Sure. I feel like once when an artist have like a situation that that you experience, why do you think that actually helps with the music? Because it's, it's only two reasons that you listen to somebody: either their music sound good or they're entertaining. So I feel like they fall on the entertainment part, and some of these people don't what they really don't be having going on what they be rapping about. So. People uh, are intrigued to see that because they some you know mm-hmm. some like, just like some little nerd like not saying nerd but somebody who don't come from that background somebody just on the internet yeah they, mm-hmm. they, they don't come from that background so they don't they only see the shit on the news you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. to see somebody who actually go through it they're like oh let me follow them and what they got, got going on so uh, while you were in prison it was prison right uh, 
it's they said somebody put a hit on you or you was on Vlad saying that. Uh, uh, oh yeah, somebody had a hit on me. Oh mm. uh, no, nah, nah, it wasn't. A, it wasn't. A, uh, they got a different kind of hits. It wasn't a try to kill me hit. Oh, okay. It was a more so beat the shit out of me. Oh. And then, okay. Yeah, because once you get like if you get fucked up real, real, real bad, you'll go to the infirmary and shit. So they want to violate you essentially. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. As this is going on mentally, how are you doing? Because this is this is a lot, my brother. Like attempted murder, you do you're in jail, and then you come out and you rapping. But you know how where, where are you mentally when this is happening to you? How are you feeling? Oh man, are you stressed out or are you happy? Like, nah, shut no. up. <laughs> are you paranoid? I don't think anybody had to be in jail. While I was in jail. No, I mean when you get out and you start rapping. Oh, when I get out, man, uh, paranoid, confused, because a lot of people who. Before I was in jail, everybody was cool. So it's like you don't know who your friends is, you don't know who to, who who cool enough to pull up on you and stuff like that. And it's just like the one wrong decision, it could all be over with. You know what I'm saying? So then on top of that, I was on five year parole. Mm. Mm. While you was on parole, um, there is a, a famous beef happening in Baton Rouge too with you and NBA Young Boy. Mm -hmm. And every time I drop music or he drop music. Our fans are going to each other's page. So, how yeah. did that beef start with y'all? I mean, it wasn't no beef. It was oh. more so internet trying to connect dots between us and stuff like that. So y'all cool? I, I ain't got no problem with them. Oh, okay. So is is when does the beef stop? Like when does it when does it stop? Do you, I know you see all the things that are going on in on the internet, and you see a lot of the rap beef actually going into street beef. Do you ever feel like like man, this has to stop? Mm. I. I can't really speak on other people's situation, but as far as mine, it wasn't really ne never no beef. But on our end, I just motherfucker just ain't feel the need to be explaining like, hey, ain't mm -hmm. no, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's just it get annoying sometimes. Yeah, and I I know you so, hate talking about it, and you also uh, stated that you didn't like the fact that people bring up him in during your yeah. interviews because people interview him and don't bring you up. Yeah, if I had the opportunity, I would. Yeah, definitely. I, I would. I would have brought you yeah, up and I don't asked the same about question. It's just uh, it's like for the people who do get to interview him, I just feel like it'd be like a little fucked up. <laughs> be like, what like, you oh. What you mean by that? Because so for one, he don't he don't do interviews like that, right? Mm -hmm. So they don't be trying to mess up the chance of the interview coming out and stuff like that. Get the numbers, but here I go. I'm an open book, so my right. folks already take advantage of that. I'm gonna answer the question regardless. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And so once we go on the internet. You go look at my name or something, it's going to pop up. Fred O'Bain, NBA, you feel me? So it looked like I'm always talking about him. But I'm like you clout chasing yeah, like for I'm, that but situation. Yeah, I'm just answering the fucking question. Did y'all, have y'all ever had a conversation about, like, man, this is stupid, like, you know, like, this not even real? Mm. No, we had a conversation about just finally telling the people that it wasn't no beef or nothing, but, like... Some shit just don't need to be explained. Just you know what I'm saying. But why you don't tell people that? Like why? why I tell you, people. I, I'm saying, but go, like, if you go to every interview I did, they ask me about. It, I tell them like it ain't never. But you know, a lot of times artists do get in interviews and they said it's it's no beef with a certain artist, but it's still beef. That that's why I think yeah, stuff man, continues to occur. Every interview I ever did, I said I don't got no problem with them. And you you also and that's say, how you really feel. Okay. Yeah, it seems like you don't care. Um, <laughs> the uh, your label, you had issues with your label who yeah. wouldn't allow you to drop for like fourteen months. Um, well, it wasn't they wouldn't allow me. How stuff was falling, like so. My last project was the end of my second album period. Mm -hmm. Once that period ends, you had to open up uh the next album period. The next album period couldn't get open because my other label, me, was at odds, and they my major can't make any moves without them. Okay. So me and them had to get on the same page in order for them to open up my budget to drop music. Mm -hmm. Or I was going to have to drop it and get in trouble because I'm violating my contract. How did you get um, through that uh, with your um, your first label? Uh, just a long 14 months of, well, 12, 13 months of talking and trying to get through it. Negotiate. Lawyer to lawyer. Yeah. It seems like a lot of um, ego plays a lot of part in um you know, being an artist and want to continue dropping music and, you know, the person that you signed to before you signed with the major label is kind of hindering you from doing that? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not, I wasn't completely mad at them because they were going through a separate situation with that's legally and 
once legal shit going on, like it's, so, it's only so much you can do. Mm-hmm. But what I was asking from them was, regardless of anything, try to help me out because y'all know what I do for y'all. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that was my biggest thing. Like, don't hold me back. You know, you're pretty I, much saying like, y'all go handle what y'all got to do and like, let me drop. Uh, they wasn't really intentionally holding me back. It was only so much they could do, and I felt like they wasn't giving my situation enough attention to, to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one of my favorite songs that you ever put out is Top, of course, the remix. Um, still gets played to this day, yeah. heavy rotation everywhere. Um, I want to talk about that particular record because I feel like it was everywhere. Yeah. Um, how did that make you feel? Was that one of you? Was that to? Was that to you? It was the first time I felt like a rapper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was. Yeah, the chick start was changed. <laughs> yeah, cause last time I saw you, chain wasn't that big. Yeah. Now you was shining though. I mean, yeah. unless you had that without me seeing that. Yeah, I, I think a couple I years back. I don't be wearing my jewelry. All okay, the time. my bad. Correct me now. Give me, give me a chance. Should be hurt my neck. <laughs> Light flex. But when Top came out, <laughs> how did how did Dirk how did Dirk did Dirk reach out to you? Did you reach out to him? No, like how did Dirk? We had been in conversation, but uh, he had came to Miami. He told me to pull up to the club with him. So after that, he was like, "Let's go out the studio." And yeah. you played that. You played that. Yeah, I know that was a no brainer when he heard it. Face. Okay, because that went up. I knocked it out in like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Damn. Yeah, that was one of your biggest records. Okay, so uh, moving forward, how is uh, Fredo Bang's personal life? Is is he in a relationship? I'm single. (laughs) Are you entertaining anybody at the moment? Nah. Nobody? Come on, man. Only fans. Now, the... um, (laughs) Only fans. Only fans? Who's only fans are you subscribed to? A lot. Like who? Ruby Rose? Ruby shit, bullshit. Oh. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> so you ain't no. dropping the sixty k to oh uh, nah. describe. <laughs> well, I bought like five, six different things on Ruby page, man. She be tripping. <laughs> who else? Who else? Don't be, be tri- enough. What you mean? Don't be what? What you be want to see on OnlyFans when you when if you subscribe? You on, if you on OnlyFans, you need to be fucking. Okay. Okay. At least oh. play with it or something. Okay. You know, show it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now, I don't. I don't... Uh, in in our prep sheet, it says that you have a baby with a married couple. Yeah. How, what is that about? Two kids. Can you can you, you break have two that kids down? With a married couple. Yeah. Okay. Like, is the couple two girls? Yeah, they married. Oh, and okay. they're married to each other. Two girls. I'm just asking. I'm asking. Ask. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, what? Okay, so uh, are they your family or friends or? We family. How, how, how did you, you meet go? them? Did they meet you? We met each other. <laughs> <laughs> what is this a, a polyamorous thing? Polygamy. Is so, there a polygamy? I mean, I'm just saying. What we was try. the conversation like? How is the? So basically, uh, the one who had my child, uh, I think. Uh, I hit up on I hit her up on Fista. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got yeah, a we, Fista. I, yeah, we were cool, we, you know, chilling, talking and stuff. And then we're like, hey, let's link up, you know, linked up. You know, we enjoyed each other' en- energies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poop, oh baby. Oh, it wasn't planned. Uh, okay, and then, and, she, and then she got married. No, nah, she was already married. Uh, but wait. with permission, we made a baby together. But did she have permission to make a baby with you while she was married? We all made it together. He, Rory, oh. what, he, what he's saying is that <laughs> oh. they already knew about what was going on. Is that, is that what you're saying? Like, no. we were... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. I think that, um, was she cheating on her <laughs> no, girlfriend? We, was, we had it together. Oh, like, so they wanted a baby and they... No, we made it the baby together. Yeah, all we got that part. All three of y'all made one uh, together. Y'all, y'all okay. was pretty all much right. in a okay, situation Okay, so you had together. two girlfriends, and then, and then they two just... girlfriends got married. Yeah, and then you just moved on, and they just kept their family. Uh, no, when my baby was here, we tried a relationship and stuff. Was, For all three. What made you leave? Life just be life and sometimes, and minds don't be agreeing on stuff sometimes. You wanted more women in the, uh, in nah. the picture? No. Okay. Uh, it's just... Mm, for one, I stay in Miami. They stay in, Florida. you know, it's just a lot of different uh, different factors. states. You know, it's, no, it's just a different lot of different factors that play a part. So, and and right now, my biggest thing is I'm completely focused on my career. I hadn't been able to drop in 14 months, mm-hmm. so I can't really deal with no relationship right now, or even give relationship any type of energy. So, as far as it's best for me and our relationship, as far as just regardless of 
fucking around or anything. It's just uh, me getting my shit together right now. So were the girls together or did you put them, uh, or all three of y'all came no, they, together? they've been married for two and a half years, three years. Okay. Pretty much, you you got a fenster, and the person that you had a baby with had a fenster, and y'all was talking on there. Y'all ended up being friends. You understood that she was already married. You got in the, the situation, which was something that was agreed with all three of y'all, and then a baby happened. Okay. Now, how how is Fredo Bangs the father? I'm, I'm trying. Do you have a boy or a girl? Boy. Two, two boys. Uh, two boys. Do you take them to basketball games? Yeah, um, I mean... I be working a lot, but when we get it, like the last time we went somewhere, we went to. Uh, I took them to the aquarium, watching the dol- dolphins and stuff flip out the water and stuff like that. We do a little something. Okay. Um, last night I just ran around the house crawling on the floor. <laughs> they were on my back and I'm playing dinosaurs and shit with them. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you did you I grow up in a two parent home? Nah. So well, my dad and my mom broke up when I was one, and then she moved on. Her husband was in my life for, for like 16 years, mm-hmm. and then they got divorced. Baller Alert! What's saying? This your boy, Fredo Bang, and you are now listening to the Baller Alert Show. Where'd your name come from? My yeah. dad. My name is Frederick D. Warren Thomas Gibbons II. What bangs? The, the Fredo that had died from Chicago. My best friend who uh, started me rapping, mm-hmm. Chief Keith was his favorite rapper. Mm-hmm. So he used to be like Fredo in the cut. It's a scary sight. Like that. Oh, that's how you got your name. <laughs> right, fine. Yeah. Did you did you like drill music coming up? Nah, no. I ain't know what the fuck Chiki was talking about at first. <laughs> but then when he was like making like macaroni time and stuff, then I started catching okay, on and okay. stuff. I started fucking with it. But okay. at first, all the other people I was fucking with it. Yeah, because you it know it's cool, but it just wasn't like I'm a more musical, soulful. I just want to ask you because you don't really sound like you're from where you're from. Sometimes I can hear the accent. When you get when you get deep into it, but yeah. you have a little acoustic to your your your, your tone. I appreciate that. So you know you acoustic to us. <laughs> well, he gonna use that. <laughs> right, you're making up stuff on the fly. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I'm saying you, you have a little you add a little harmony to your shit. I like I like the harmony. I like when you do your harmonies. Like yeah. I think mm-hmm. you're fire when, you, when you're at your best when when I hear that. Okay, I That's appreciate cool. that, man. <laughs> so your project, I'm sad. Why is it called I'm sad? Because of, during the 14 months, I was going through a lot of depths and a lot of other stuff. And people kept asking, like, oh, how you feeling? You know, ooh, blah, blah. how you doing? Yes, I'm sad. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But mainly showing that artists, I can make regular music, I can make happy music, club music, and the whole time I be going through something. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I feel like that's really brave of you to um, to admit that. I feel like, especially for a man, it's like, it's hard to admit when how, you know to share your emotions about how you feel because most people are not gonna tell you like oh man I'm sad or yeah. you know I'm depressed or I won't be it, having nobody to talk to. Yeah, Especially is that your therapy to music? Put it in, put it out through the music. That's my only therapy for real. Do you mentally? Do you, have you ever spoke to somebody professionally? Nah, I plan on it during like the next two weeks. I kind of give you a lot more clarity. Yeah. What's your um on the project? What's your favorite record that you think a lot of people are going to gravitate to? Like, man, when they hear this one right here, like, it's the one. I don't really know. That's why I got excited about the project. Like, because I haven't dropped so long, I'm trying to find my self confidence in it. Mm. Yeah. So, so you're kind of going to let the fans pick. Yeah. Because a, a lot of artists do have, like, that, you know, they'll say, all right, when this come out, like, I think this is the one that people going to gravitate to. Normally, I do have that, that, that feeling sometimes, but with this one, I just. What type of features you got on there? Who you got on there? I got there? Kevin Gates, Rick Ross, That's I got cool. Rob Fortnite, Treaty, and uh, in L.E. Chopper. Okay. Who's right. your favorite to work with? I don't know. Because I, I be already making the tracks and I just be sending the motherfuckers. <laughs> Me and Rob did the song together. Okay. Oh, y'all was actually. Y'all was in the Yeah, we was in the studio together. Rob be tripping though sometimes. He be having studio lights off and shit with old colorful lights and shit. It be dark. Can he see? Cause he be wearing huh? those shades. Yeah, I be telling him like, man, he <laughs> tripping, man. Turn the lights on. <laughs> 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 so, but that is my dog though. I got another question. Now, I see you did an interview uh, with Vlad TV where you said Dr. Umar was racist. Why do you feel I didn't like say that? That's, I, I don't need to call Vlad, bro. I seen that all in the headlines. So to clear it up, his you... team be doing that shit bad. I don't, I don't be liking that. Right. What, I, what I said when he told me the Umar situation, I like Umar because he's funny as hell. Mm. Gifts, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I said once he told me what Umar did, I said older black people 
I feel, he asked me how I felt. I said, I felt like a lot of older black people have the tendency to do racist things. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, but that's how we grew up. And we don't look at it as racist because we just so used to it being on the other end of the stick. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's just like BET Network, black entertainment. What if they had a white entertainment? Mm. We all be protesting and shit and trying to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like just we have the tendency of uh, unsubconsciously, if that's the right word I'm trying to use, um, segregating ourselves, and we don't notice it. I also seen you, uh, you didn't have a grandma or somebody that told you when you go to the store, don't go talking to the white people over there. Nah, my grandma ain't never told me. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma ain't never told me. Growing said. up, we, you, they used to tell us to avoid the white people. Or doing this in public. Oh, just, just yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Just not to get in trouble. Like, just to have correct. Um, but we got, our way, they be hanging. They, you know, they used to be hanging shit. <laughs> you feel mm-hmm. me? So, motherfucker be used to missing and all type of shit. But just like, just to stay out of trouble. Mm-hmm. But if it was on the other shoe, on the other foot, we'd be like, oh, damn, that's some racist shit to say. You know I, get, I get what you're saying. I like, get. Umar, like, basically, he, he was like, even with that situation. Bam, saying Eminem can't be do, can't be the best rapper because he's white. What if it's in country moves, music and they say, oh, you can't be top country artists because you're black? Mm-hmm. You feel well, what I'm I saying? I think they have a lot of ways of saying that without saying. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, a lot of things we say and do, it'd be really racist. <laughs> but we just don't be noticing because we so used to being on the other foot. On the I mean, we are in a racist country. You don't believe that black people can't be racist I, f- I feel like a, I feel like a lot of black know, people I, think I that feel like a lot of us be racist no he's saying that he thinks black people are racist older yeah, yeah. Oh, older black people yeah especially older ones I feel like all of us just be doing some racist shit sometimes and we just don't be noticing it. yeah and like, I, it's just like we're going man look at that white boy right there he tripping but that, that statement was you feel mm-hmm. me now if a white person would say man look at that black boy right there yeah we gonna we gonna feel away you feel me? You have a point. We just, ha- but we just so used to the shoe being on the other foot that we don't notice that what we're saying and doing. You feel me? We don't. Mm-hmm. We don't put. The, we don't make it equal. So you just, you just felt like that. You pretty much was like just defending the fact of mm-hmm. saying like, "Hey, man, you I can't was, say somebody's not number one because of their skin color." Yeah, God, I, I wasn't like, trying to call him racist. I wasn't like, "Oh, he, he racist." You feel mm-hmm. me? But I know Vlad team. Got a a, a a habit of sometimes of not clickbaiting, but trying to bu- pull, bring in attention. So I understand it, but like I don't like it when it's making me look like I'm disrespecting the person. Mm. Got you. How you feel about white people saying the N word in like music? Um, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Racist. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is what it is. Racist. But I I tend to not be in people business. And like I'm not one of the motherfuckers on everything be happening they on the comments. I feel like this is so despicable or this. I just be minding my own fucking business. You know so you, you don't you don't feel like that that some uh, platforms that are white owned exploit um, the hip hop culture. I feel like all platforms exploit black and white. That's that's interesting. Yeah, I, we got we, I, I just feel like the world all together just have a habit of colorizing everything. Like mm-hmm. just, instead of right and wrong, it's black and white. Like just because we black don't mean we cool. It's cool for us to do shit too. I got a, a perfect example: the Black Lives Matter shirts. Right? I forgot who would it, was it. Kanye did the White Lives Matter shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you not see a problem with that? I, I feel like. It just, just should have been all lies. Oh, yeah. I understand the, the now that's timing. A, now, now that's a bo- this a bold statement you saying now. Yeah, but see, I don't be caring what people feel. I, I see what I feel. But but what I'm saying, I understand the timing was wrong. Mm-hmm. But people don't be, people be, we be, not just us, everybody be segregating shit sometimes and don't be noticing this shit. Instead of saying all lies, it was just black lives. Well, I think, I think the black lives situation to me was a, was an interesting uh, time yeah, nah, uh, in our, in our country. So, like, what, what I'm saying with the White Lives Matter shirt shit, it was a wrong timing. For You feel what I'm saying? But I understand what he was trying to say. Kanye, what do you think he was trying to say? All Lives Matter. But instead of saying that, he picked the wrong words. <laughs> I think he meant what he was saying when he wore that shirt. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely feel... But you, but you see how all of them took it a different type of way? Yeah, I could yeah. Because I, I, I remember you could see, you know, I mean, I don't really want to re-talk about it, but yeah. what happened was something that 
I feel was a, you know, someone that was being racial profile, racially profiled. So that was a racist situation that we oh, saw you're talking about happen. That, you're talking about the George Floyd situation? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, see, I'm so not even So that's kind of what sparked it. Yeah. So yeah, the time was, was terrible. Was the time mm-hmm. was terrible. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't even, yeah, it was just terrible. I get what you're, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I'm just, well, I just feel just, like I'm just using different situations. I think you're taking your tr- you're basically saying let's take the color away and what's that person was wrong, period. And that person's wrong too, regardless of color. Is that what you're trying to say? Facts. Got it. It's simple. But well, I feel like we just be going too deep. <laughs> <laughs> like and, people, and everybody don't think deep. That and that and that's the problem with a lot of things that that come out on the internet. That's why I want you to clarify. Yeah, motherfucker go on the site and they look at the headliner. And if we got a video, after about 10 seconds of the video, it could be a 50-second video, they type in their comment right now. Yeah, people... And they'll forget, they, they'll miss the whole rest of the statement. Yeah, and that's why I wanted you to clarify, you know, that statement, because I was like, man, this is kind, that's yeah. kind of a bold statement, <laughs> yeah. you know, to uh, you know, to say, especially using the word racist nowadays. Right. It's like, that's right. the worst thing you could call somebody in this right. day and age, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. I don't think black people could be racist, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> you, say, right? hold on, you say you don't think white people could be racist? I, I don't think black people could be racist, but, you oh, know, shit. that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is your interview, and you are a gamer, right? <laughs> you be on the game, bro? Yeah, I game. Which, 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 uh, which game is your? Uh, MLB, MLB, GTA. Do you make money on Twitch? A little bit. It's yeah. not It's not a lot, because I, I, T. Grizzly say he makes more money on T, Twitch T, than T, he does. T on the server. What is the difference? Uh, so he owns what the people playing on. Okay. Just like Twitch owns what you're streaming on? Right. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. And then he got like fucking million people listening, watching his Twitch. So oh, like, wow. He got like 20,000. You said yours has 20,000? Yeah. So that's, a, that's a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Not, so not at one time. You feel me? The following. Gotcha. Okay. Like in total. Yeah. How does, it, how does making money work on Twitch? For people um, who would want to get into ways, that, so, so it come off gifts slash tips, and then the other one is the people watching. Okay. So like that counts as like a stream. Yeah. Each person don't pay that much. So okay. where's all these guys getting these big deals from Twitch and Rumble and all this stuff that see, you see? I'm not, see. My thing is, I'm more so motherfucking. When I'm sitting there playing, I'll be playing the game. So <laughs> you be talking? Yeah, I forget the talking shit. Oh, okay. Because oh, okay. you got to talk shit <laughs> Listen, on there. That's what, yeah, that's what's... <laughs> maybe over, overly entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, so you play on T Grizzly server too. Yeah. And as, on your own as like a cop? Bruh stupid. <laughs> Bruh stupid? Yeah. Bruh stupid. Yeah. That's your cop name? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you, what do, you do on there? <laughs> I go harass people. You so you don't do nothing you supposed so, to be doing. So you harass people. You're profiling. Yeah, well, I'm I'm role playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being a dirty cop. <laughs> so what can you do on his server that's different from uh, GTA on a regular server? Um, you can talk to actual real people and stuff. Everybody's a character in there, and when you're in there, you can't be yourself. You, you can't have, break character. Yeah, you got to be the character that you're playing. So if you're a cop, you have to be a cop. If you yeah. a mop boss, you can't or, be like, "Hold on, man, let me go check my mailbox real quick" or something. You can't break character. Mm. Oh, yeah. So this is like a whole different world. Some people actually like believe it's real. Like, <laughs> like motherfucker called me like, "Hey, you going in the world?" Yo, that is crazy. Yeah. How many hours a day do you t- uh, get on the game? Um. I haven't been twitching in a long in like four or five months because I had to get a new computer. But oh. with that shit, you be having to get like seven, eight hours of your day to so that shit. God damn, it's yeah, too consuming. And that's, and that's to make some money. Yeah, okay, okay. a lot of those streamers are on there. You know, twenty hours a day. Um, I see like a lot of the big streamers are always talking about like how you can't really have a regular life if you're somebody yeah. that's solely making money on yeah, there because yeah, they, they on there streaming every second of their life. On there. Especially if they're calling you, officer, uh, bro, crazy. Bruh stupid. Bruh stupid. Bruh stupid. Bruh stupid. So you're making money through music right now? How's those contracts looking? Good. I better mean, than Twitch? Way better than Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> was your first contract a good one? Was yeah, I, I'm not mad at my contract. It's always you're still in your first contract? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I got out of one and then I was got another one, but I don't count that first one. Okay. But 
Yeah, I, I got this album and one more album, and I'm done with this one. Okay, with the label. Yeah. So what you gonna do afterwards? Yeah. Uh, I weigh my options. Okay. Just see how stuff going. You you think you gonna might go independent or you might stay major? I put out some music independently for a couple of months while mm-hmm. I'm while I'm seeing how I'm, what I'm gonna want to do. How hard is the music industry nowadays? Paperwork. Paperwork. Clearances. That's the hardest shit. I might have a song right and I'm ready to put the motherfucker out, but it might take two months of me getting the producer to sign a contract. Really? Yeah. That shit's Especially stressful. if it's multiple producers. Any any artist that and you want to all of them gotta agree to the all terms. Of them agree, yeah. To the split sheet. Yeah, so he might agree, he might agree, he don't agree. Change it for him. Now you gotta go back to those four. And they gotta agree on the change. Agree. He don't agree. Go fix it for him. Change it. All of them gotta you gotta go and back. And each person may have a lawyer. Separate ones. <laughs> I know you. Been, I know separate any ones. all separately got to sign it. Yeah. Yo, that is. Yeah, that, that sounds like a beat. headache. That's just for the beat. For music video, everybody in the video got to sign the paper. Yeah. Like and the artist. A talent form. Dude. No, everybody. Oh. If you got a painting inside, of, like if I was in here, and I did a video, and this was in my background, I had to get all three of y'all to sign the paper. Mm-hmm. And and if, I don't know if y'all own the name. We we get it. We we, we would name, get a check. Huh? We would get a check. A lot of people be trying to get a check. But you be like... Well, we have to sign for you to be able to use this in your video. Yeah, for it to be in there. Got it. Any artists that, that was on the album that didn't make it? Any features that didn't uh, get yeah, clear? Jeezy. Oh, Jeezy didn't get clear? No, I had him on the song with Ross. But I couldn't get a session this time. Wow. Oh. There's another thing I got to get the session from that person to mix their vocals. Got it. And he ain't oh, that should time. be time consuming. He, I guess he was busy. Well, they couldn't find a session because they didn't know what they named it. She yeah. hit me. Yeah, I was you about to say you should have called. You should have yeah. called Rard. He was talking to his manager and stuff. Okay. And, his, and, his, and the person who recorded said you just couldn't find it. Damn. And I man, just, I needed to get it turned in. I know like, you was, I was pissed about that. Out of November. Okay. But I had to push it back. You got deluxe coming too, right? Yeah, I'm doing deluxe. Mm-hmm. Okay. And a couple more projects this year. Um. Uh, I plan on getting two more albums. It just depends on how this one goes. Two more albums to get out of that contract? Or just two more albums? I need just... one more to get out of the contract. Oh, okay. But, you know, that's <laughs> another thing with contracts. They got their they got they time period. So it's yeah. like, oh, it's a time period. It's a 12-month uh, option period. Oh, uh, before you can actually go shop for a new deal. Yeah, right, before I can turn it, before, before can I can put it. out the next album for them. Oh, they make oh. you wait a year? Sometimes. Oh, gotcha. You feel me? It's an mm-hmm. option. Are, it's an you option. going on tour? Mm. I'm always in my option with a tour because I had a bad experience with that with the wrong company. So I'm thinking about it. What happened? Janky. All the money went right. Um, uh, they instead of trying to sell tickets, they were trying to sell open and X. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. I see we what you're saying. So yeah. Pull, so when I pulled up, it was empty and it had forty people opening. Empty with what? forty people opening. Yeah, that's crazy. Open and X. I get yeah, it. they was touring for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, we appreciate you pulling up, man. You got to do it more often, my brother. Yes, Officer you. Dog. <laughs> ah. Bruck, stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I got, yeah, I got, yeah, I got, I got Bruck in my head. Wrap up sign. But, uh, you know, we definitely appreciate you coming. And you you got to come to the show more often, man. I appreciate it. Y'all don't be sending me. We want to see man. Officer Bruck stupid next time. You gotta go inside the GCS. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the voice and everything. <laughs> What's up? It's Officer Bro. Stupid. No. Nah. It's <laughs> nah I'll What's the real? voice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, loser. Oh, <laughs> yes, I got those yes. drugs that you wanted. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go. I'm trying to pull it up. <laughs> All right, Officer Bro Stupid, uh, aka Fredo Bang. We appreciate you for stopping by the Baller Alert Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you were a lot of fun, though. Um, yeah, we had fun for sure. Before we get out of here, though, we do have a pep talk. Yeah. This is Fredo Bang. Be me, the M1 Rock and Red. I'm the reason why baby ass kid named GV and telling the money. It made no sense to speak your and, and be yourself. Once you try to be somebody else, you on their path and not yours. Who was that in the beginning? Because that was so fast. Me? Yeah. Fred O'Bain, B. Measy, Elmo when I'm rocking red. I'm the reason why your baby dad is scared. In the name of G, if you ain't talking no money, it don't make no sense to speak. Follow